He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. I don't From out of nowhere. It's known that Becky Lynch has had friction with Carmella since their days in NXT. But when Carmella robbed Becky of becoming the first Miss Money in the Bank, that brought the tension between the two to a boiling point. Well, can you blame Becky, Michael? She had the Money in the Bank contract won until Carmella drilled her with a chair from behind. That put the Staten Island Princess directly in Becky's sights. Corey, tell me, just how much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. What a stomp! Good grief! Something to keep in mind when squaring up with Becky Lynch is the last kicker can just as easily lock you in a submission as she can realign your spine with a suplex. That's yeah, obvious. Becky Lynch's repertoire is impressive. What concerns me the most, Cole, are her vicious strikes to an opponent. I'd say they'd cross the border of the illegal. As we mentioned, something that's become Man. a trademark of Becky Lynch is her ability to dominate an opponent in a split second. And Corey, it's outrageous to imply that Becky breaks the rules in her matches. The first ever SmackDown Live Women's Champion wants to show that it doesn't matter who you are. When you play with straight fire, you are going to get burned. Becky Lynch is one of the hardest working competitors in sports entertainment. The unmatched determination and desire that burns inside the Irish last kicker makes her one of the top WWE superstars today. But many people would be surprised to learn her road to WWE. Picking up on something you said, Byron, Becky Lynch's path to WWE was far from conventional. Becky went from a competitor on the independent scene to a stunt woman, a flight attendant, and a... Becky Lynch, Spexploder Suplex. I'm not sure how much he has left. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Ah, drop kick. Right on the money. Follows that up with a move so their opponent is really dead. Oh, right. Superman punch, good night. Oh, it's over. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. Well, he nice. knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's going to get hurt. And unfortunately oh, for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown. Corey, we know that Seth Rollins is a top competitor here in WWE, but he isn't without his faults. How to point out one flaw in the game of Seth Rollins is that he tends to be a very highly emotional competitor. Seth tends to get inside of his own head and get distracted from the task. Seth Rollins is in, but what a frog splash. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. You know, Byron, as Corey alluded to, we've seen how Seth Rollins can allow his emotions to steer him in the wrong direction and take his eyes off the prize. Here's his chance to win this. Carmella wants everyone to know that she's in charge. Uh-oh. We know what Reigns is looking to do here. When this guy's on counter here. Oh, uh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. The switch here to Carmella. For as good as Carmella is, Corey, the unfortunate truth is she's not above bending the rules a bit to gain an advantage. <laughs> I don't know what's so unfortunate about that, Cole. The goal is to win, and there are few better at finding different ways to win than Carmella. It's not her fault the officials don't know how to do their jobs. You gotta believe this one's over. The man is looking a little startled right now. 
Well, Corey Curley has no issue with Carmella's nefarious in-ring style, but Byron, her opponents most certainly do. They do, Michael, but they also know what they're getting into ahead of time. So they know that they Ouch. have to be on the lookout all match long for any shortcuts Carmella might take. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look at this, Miz. DDT, victory is on the horizon. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. Corey, you spoke about one of superstars in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have... The Code of Silence! So impressive. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. What does Carmella have to do to oh, regain man. her composure? At this point, I'd say... Oof. Nice exploder suplex. Nice. Shut it down. Oh, nasty impact. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Just as ruthless as the first time we saw it. When the bell rings, the last kicker from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch is going full force at her opponent. For the record, Cole, I don't need to be down with the straight fire to recognize that Becky Lynch is always happy to throw down when a superstar gets in her way. Corey, it's straight fire! Boom, what impact! Guys, when talking about Becky Lynch bringing the fight to an adversary, we are talking about the energy, resilience, and the spirit of a woman who will not be denied. That is why Becky is known for bringing that straight fire. Byron, that almost resembled something actually insightful. I'll give Becky Lynch her props, but she needs to remember, if she's too aggressive, that straight fire can be extinguished. That was, that was okay. Keep working on it. Beautiful technique. It makes sense for Seth Rollins to hold a tag team title with one of his Shield brothers, but to hold it with the overachieving... J he may get the three count right there, and there's still plenty of fight left. It's way too early. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Uh, what? Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. I'm impressed. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Those unfortunate events you mentioned, Corey, included a long-term injury to Rollins' tag team partner, Dean Ambrose. Jason Jordan then inserted himself into the Seth Rollins rivalry with the bar, ultimately winning the tag titles on Christmas night. Yeah, Raw General Manager Kurt Angle must have thought the duo were good boys all year long to grant them that opportunity. Rollins and Jordan had their own miracle on 34th Street fight, while the bar left with Cole in their stockings that night. Leave it to Byron to make Christmas references. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Out of From out of nowhere. RKO. What an assault on Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins really needed this break. But what can he do with it? Here is Roman Reigns in position now. Really working over the body. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. He goes down hard. He's going for the pin. One. Can you believe this battle's not over yet? Gonna take more than that. Corey, I would have to disagree with the notion that Seth has lost his edge. Rollins still wants to be great and still wants to be the man. But now he is doing it face to face. Look, the biggest difference between the Seth of the past and the Seth now is that he's not stabbing people in the back. He's atoning for his sins and confronting the competition head on. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. After Triple H, I never thought we'd... Wow, I thought he was a goner. Ziggler is unstoppable when he... It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Somebody wound him up and he's off and... I think that barrier might be the only thing holding him up. I think you're right. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. If I was Seth Rollins, I'd get my mind in the match and out of the crowd. 
The Miz is calling for it. Seth Rollins is in position. Becky is showing her stuff right now, big time. Seth Rollins playing a little head games right now. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off. Figure four leg lock. Here's his moment, Michael. He's making a statement here with this. Lock. Locked in. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Looking for the finish. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Harsh impact. Carl Ziggler with the famous sir. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Oh boy, he is rolling. Don't know if it's going to work, but Becky is playing mind games now. Bam! You can feel this one slipping away from Ziggler. That was both a quick and powerful strike, guys. What a stomp. Good grief. Right across the back of the neck. Oh, a big boot. Oh, a big boot. Great effort, but he'd better save something for later in the match. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. Nailed it. There's the switch. Carmella is in. <laughs> Carmella with a nice reversal. Oh, the reversal by the Miz. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. She's on the attack and on the move. He's too quick for him there. Wow, I thought he was a goner. The Miz with a nice reversal. She's on the attack and on the move. In comes Becky Lynch. Boom, right in the button. You can bet he's going to feel that in the morning. Oh, yeah. Ooh, going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Becky Lynch set the Bexploder. Game, set, match. This one is over. Dolph Ziggler is feeling awfully good about himself. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Incoming. He has him right where he wants him. Uh, I think this is the ring rattling. That has got to be it. Got him good there. Yeah, let's take another look. He's got the shoulders down. What an amazing six-man tag match. Something tells me WWE fans will be discussing the six-man tag match for years to come, and I can't blame them. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Becky Lynch with the finishing touches in this one. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And the crowd here tonight still in awe. I just want to dance all night, forget my problems, I might go insane. I don't really give a damn what they say. And now you know, now you know it. A little lady said you feel the same, but I don't believe a word you say, cause.